Hi friends, as promised, I'm going to show you how I glazed this bowl using Mako Light Flux um, Reactive Red by Spectrum. I used Stroke and Coat Hot Tamale and Amico's Deep Red Fire Brick. So we'll just get started on how to make this beautiful red peacock technique bowl. So I'm starting out with this ZM tool. I don't know if I say that correctly, but I'm making use um, along the rim. I have a throwing line that I'm using as a guide to make like U's or V's you could do. Um, but anyway, this tool I will link in the uh, description box. It's X-I-E-M. I can never pronounce it. Z-M, Z-M, I don't know. But it's an applicator uh, bottle that you can use for all kinds of things. So I'm using it for the flux. Um, and I'm just making use for my first row. Um, and I didn't film the rest of the rows because I got so discouraged by messing up you'll see that in the next clip but honestly it doesn't even matter like the mess up like it was fine so you'll see okay i really screwed this up um this is what happens when i don't draw lines it gets all messy <laughs> So I just like went with it because I didn't want to wash it off and do it all over again. So I'm just going to go with it. I'm just, I'm just going to go with it. Once it fires, it's going to be all drippy and oozy. So I don't think it's going to matter. Like these lines were not even at all, like at all. So, um, all right, let's get to it. I'm going to, um, be using fire brick and maybe some dots of hot tamale. I haven't decided yet. And then I'm gonna cover it with Spectrum's um, reactive red. That's my plan. Let's see how it comes out. Okay. So I'm applying dots rather thickly of the fire brick. So I'm really, I load up that brush and um, do the dots. However, you can use an applicator bottle to just squeeze out dots, but I don't know, I did not do that um, because I didn't want it to like run down the pot, which maybe that would have been cool. I don't know, but you can do it either way. The brush, you'll see, takes longer because I go over it like 800 times. Um, not really 800, but you know what I mean. So um, I just did one coat. Now I'm going back and doing two, really dabbing it on there. Um, and you'll see I end up using like, I don't even know, we'll count as we go. This is the second coat, but there's a lot of coats of that deep fire brick red. You can't go wrong with adding as much glaze as possible on the inside of the bowl, in my opinion. So starting on the second row, which was kind of hard to follow because the um, flux lines are so like not even. Um, so I was just kind of throwing dots wherever I thought would look fine. Um, yeah, so I'm adding the second row and I'm just gonna be doing this for quite a while and adding um, coats, you know? So as I'm watching, that's the third coat so far on the top row. And I just remember making that brush 
really heavy with glaze, almost like those dots were going to run down the pot, just really loading it up. I did decide to use the hot tamale, which I'm so glad I did. And I'm just putting thick dots of that all the way around. And I believe I just did, um, went over that twice, like did two, two times of that hot tamale. That's got to be four coats right there on the top of the red fire brick. I just kept adding layers and layers because red fire brick is not a runny glaze by itself anyway. So I really wanted it to, to pop and move and such. So... All right, so I decided to add another row of dots here, this last row. And now I'm gonna do the rim. So I decided just to add some lines on the rim of the hot tamale, and I'm really glad that I did that. Um, you'll see at the on the last clip of this video, You'll see the bowl in different lighting. Um, I really like that hot tamale um, with this combo. Oh, and I should mention the clay I'm using is standard 266 dark brown. Okay, now that the inside is finished with that design, I'm starting the outside, um, flipping it over, and I'm going to do three times of the deep fire brick, deep red fire brick um, on the rim only. So that's what you see there. Flipping it over, and now I'm gonna start my three coats of reactive red. And I'm really globbing it on. And you kind of have to, to get in between those flux and dots because they're raised. So like, I don't want them to like fall off. So I'm like really slopping it on on top of that just to get it in there. So now I'm going to do the outside all over with the reactive red on top of the fire brick only at the top. So I'm really just lathering the glaze onto the outside, nice thick, even coat with, um, I'm using a Mako fan brush, which 
Those are amazing, by the way. Highly recommend. Second coat of reactive red on the inside. Now on the outside, I only did the third coat of reactive red over the rim where the fire brick is because I wasn't sure like if that would run or not. So last and final coat on the inside and then we are going to go fire this baby and I will show you in the next clip um, what this bowl looks like under different lighting. Let's dissect this bowl in different lighting and up close. So here you can see the fire brick and the hot tamale and the flux. I think I really like that hot tamale and I'm glad that I used it. I think I'll use more of it on this combo next time. And I don't think the messy lines really mattered with like, unless you want really, really tight lines for your peacock technique. Um, but it's art, it's creativity. So how can it be wrong? Um, so yeah. Really beautiful though. Let me flip it over. Watch me break it. That would be a sin. So that's just the red fire brick and the reactive red. And that's really pretty on its own too. So anyway, I just wanted to get a real good close up of it for my beautiful people. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you found the video helpful and um, I hope you guys play around with it and make some beautiful pots. Until next time, bye.